Hi, I'm Lauren from Daily Candy, and today we're here with John Oren, pickle genius behind Wheelhouse Pickles. What are we going to be doing today, John? We're going to make some pickled beets. We're going to make a brine using some exotic ingredients, including atomic fireballs. And we're doing quick pickling. There's no special equipment needed. This is just pouring a hot pickle brine on top of roasted beets. And it's not just for grandmas. Start with some roasted beets that we roasted earlier. What you want to do is top and tail them. Just get rid of the, the stem end and the root end. After we top and tail them, we just want to get rid of the skin and just sort of ah, cut so around. It's much easier to peel them now. Oh yeah. It's important to, to cut them into um, roughly equal sizes just so they absorb the brine at the same rate. We have a lot of different spices here that we're going to use and together they're going to form like a really well-rounded flavor profile. So with spices, when you're ready to use them, you can really enhance their flavors by um, toasting them. You want to heat them gently over medium heat. So now we want to get them off the heat cool. before they burn. Today we're going to be using a combination of white wine vinegar uh, and water. Now we're going to add a number of things. The secret ingredient here is atomic fireballs, which is going to add a little bit more sweetness, but it's also going to add a lot of spice. Once it is at a simmer, let it go for um, about five to ten minutes. I also want to add some sort of oniony flavor into the brine. The brine is ready to go. Maybe a couple of onions. Just put them in whole. Put them in whole. So now we're gonna load up with beets. Oh Again, you don't have to strain it at all. In fact, we want all the junk. That's a technical term. Um, just pour it straight over. This is quick pickling at, at its quickest. Let this cool to room temperature. Um, then we'll close it up and just throw it in the refrigerator. So tomorrow you'll have You'll have pickles, you know, beet pickles. So John was smart enough to actually bring some beets for us in advance. Dive in. Mmm. Whoa. You can actually taste the atomic fireball. Yeah, it's there. It's like just subtle, spicy. Thank you so much, John, for showing us how to make these awesome pickles. It's so easy and such a great gift. Pickles make a great gift. It really impresses people, sure. I think, right? Absolutely. I think nobody should be intimidated by the process of pickling. Thank you so much to Astor Center for lending us this gorgeous space. Now go home and make some pickles. <laughs>